ASMR video this evening. Tonight, in celebration for this year, we are going to be doing a 10 hour long video. You are more than welcome to use this video tonight for getting to bed, for going to sleep, having this on in the background, or just to chill out. We have made, let's just say, quite a few videos on this channel, and this year marks the, like, sixth or seventh year that we've been doing ASMR. And so what me and my editors have done is we have hand-picked a couple segments out of the over 1,000 videos on this channel, condensed all that content down and have created this nearly 10 hour long segment for you to go to sleep to tonight. This was a massive undertaking for my editors, so it would mean the entire world to us if you consider liking the video. If you use this video for sleep, be sure also to give the video a like really goes a long way. I would really like to thank you all so much for an incredible year, and just to thank you all in general for your continuous support on the channel. I love what I do, and I'm so grateful and humbled that I'm able to make ASMR for you all every day as my job. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world, and it's all thanks to you. So with that said, feel free to snuggle on under the covers, get nice and relaxed. Feel free to fluffen up your covers, whatever you need to optimize your sleeping environment tonight. And enjoy the very best of Jojo ASMR in this 10 hour video. And with that said, relax, close your eyes. And fall asleep. Let's get started. And thank you so much for watching.
see you there. Coming in. Take a seat, take a seat. Make yourself at home. Uh, my name is Dr. Jojo, and uh, welcome to the clinic. How can I help you today? Great, yeah, you have a uh, scheduled appointment right now. Can I just quickly grab your name? Great, 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 great. Fantastic, yeah. I have you in the system right here. So, uh, what can I do for you today? Uh, yes, you're here to update your prescription. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, as we uh, get older, our eyesight also changes and evolves. So, it's important and good on you. Very claps for you for coming on in. I think it's important to every once in a while to come on in to the clinic and uh, update your prescription. So, uh, yeah, good on you for that. Alright, let me just pull up your previous prescription so we have a bit of a baseline idea. Great, yeah. Okay, no worries, no worries. So, in this evening's assessment, we are essentially going to be taking a look at your eyes. We're going to be looking at a myriad of different things when conducting this eye examination particularly dilation, peripheral vision, your uh, tensile strength, and just a few other little benchmarks. We'll also be uh, using the eye chart at the back there just to measure your sense of sight now versus last time you were here. And then uh, after that, we'll test out a few lenses, number one and number two, and from there we can prescription. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, great. Did you by any chance fill the waiver that my assistant Deborah hopefully gave to you at the front of the office? Yeah, the reception. Great. Can I just grab that off you, please? Fantastic. Thank you. Alright, just give me a sec. Let me take a look. I know it's uh, a little bit of a hassle to fill these out every time you go on down, but it's just standard protocol. We have to, I know, but let me take a look. Just give me a second. Okay. Okay, okay. So, yeah. No other, uh, complications recently that I should know of. Okay, okay. And uh, are you currently taking any prescripted antibiotics or medication? Okay, okay. you have any questions whatsoever for me, uh, I think it's really important to maintain communication and stuff whenever I do one of these little exams. If there's anything you're unclear or unsure about, uh, please do not hesitate. Let me know, and I'd be more than happy to um, answer any of your questions. Eye examinations typically are not invasive whatsoever. And if anything, they are extremely relaxing. So feel free to make yourself at home, kick back, relax, and uh, just enjoy our little eye test for you this evening. And um, yeah, just let me know if you need any breaks whatsoever, if you have to use the bathroom, if you need a drink of water, whatever it is. Uh, like I said, it's my job to make you feel comfortable. Great, okay. Let me just type a few things into the system, and uh, we'll get started with the exam. Okay. How's your day been otherwise? Cool, cool. Yeah, it's that time of the year. It's getting busy. Anything planned for the holidays? 
Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm planning on uh, going on a little trip. I'm going to Korea very soon, so uh, very keen about that. Are you traveling anywhere? Oh, nice, nice. That should be exciting. Okay, and uh, we're ready to begin. So first, I'm just going to quickly suit up here. Personally, no, I don't really, uh, I don't really have any New Year's resolutions at the moment, but I'll give it some thought. Probably the usual, get in the gym more, you know, those sorts of things. Yeah. Alright. Fantastic. So, the first thing I'm going to be doing is testing your eye muscle strength. Okay, so all that involves is your goal is to close your eyes as, you know, pretty tightly. And all I'm going to be trying to do is just to open your eye like that. Okay, it's very light. It's not going to be invasive. You don't have to squeeze so hard. It's just to test your eye strength. Okay, so if you could do me a massive favor and close your eyes. Just close your eyes, and all I'm going to just lightly do is try to brought them open. You just need to resist me trying to open your eyes. Yeah, it's very light. Okay, very good. And the other one. Great, 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 great. Yeah, don't let me, don't let me in. Fantastic. Just keep them closed. I'm just going to. Yep, fantastic. And one more over here. Very good. All right. Fantastic. That's very simple. And now just the other way. So if you could leave your eyes open, you don't have to strain your eyes. Just leave them open. And I'm just going to try and come over and just close your eyes very lightly. Don't worry. I'm not hardly touching it. It's just a assess your strength. Okay. Alright. Don't let me close this eye. Great job. And the other one. Yeah, it's only for like three seconds. Good. Good stuff. And one more time. Give you a second to refresh. Very good. Alright. Let's do it. So just don't let me in. Don't let me in. Don't let me in. Don't let me in. Great. And the other one. Don't let me in. Don't let me in. Don't let me in. Don't let me in. Fantastic. Good stuff. going to be taking a look at the color of your eye, okay? Just the color of your eye. Just taking a look at it, making sure it's looking good, checking the cornea, looking at the tissue around your eye, your eyelashes, just making sure the whole system is working out okay. All right. Feel free to close your eyes, blink your eyes if you have to. I understand having a bright light can, uh, over an extended amount of time be a little bit overwhelming, so um, just let me know if you need a break or anything, and of course, I'll have pauses in between. Okay, great. Okay, so if you could just go ahead. Yep, great stuff. Let me just take a look. Good, 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 good. Nice, and just the other one here.
very good. I'll give you a second there too.
So next I'm just going to be taking a look at each individual eye. Essentially I want to cover my hand. So so what's going to happen is I'm going to come over, cover your left eye with this hand. And all I need you to do is just tell me at what point you can no longer see these two fingers. On this hand, yeah. Okay. So just let me know when they leave this eye's field of sight.
this next part of the test we're going to be using the eye chart so let me grab that all i'm going to get you to do is by row by row just see if you can read out each row okay yeah should be uh, pretty simple stuff all right so we'll go one at a time here said So for this final part of the eye examination, now that I have all of this data, we can start looking into some of your prescriptions. So what we're going to be doing 
is moving through the different lenses. And I'd love for you to tell me which is, is clearer for you. Number one. Let me know which is cleaner. Here is number one. And here is number two. Number one. Or number two. Which of those two? easier to see through. Yeah, sure, I can, I can go through it again. Number one, or number two. Okay, great. Let's try another one here. Which of these two is cleaner? Number three, Or number four. Number three. Or number four. Which of those two? Okay. Here's uh, one more. Number five. Or number six. Number five or number six. Great. And the last one. Number seven or number eight. Number seven or number eight. I think we are just about ready for your prescription. Great. Yeah, so you don't even really need glasses that much, I would say. Your sight is actually kind of good. So, but uh, there were a little indiscrepancies here and there, which is just normal. Uh, so, yes. Yeah, so we have your prescription right here. And so what will happen is in the next few weeks, once that is ready, you can either come to the store, come to the clinic here, and uh, pick up your frames, or we can actually mail them to you. Uh, I'm guessing it's the same address as last time, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can just mail them to you. Of course, it's going to be securely packaged, and uh, we'll make sure nothing bad happens. Um, but... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Excellent. Well, look, you've been an absolute uh, pleasure to work with this evening. I really appreciate you uh, being so patient and so cooperative. I understand it can be a little bit tedious sometimes when doing these little eye tests, but you've been, you've made my job a lot easier, so thank you. No worries. Well, if you head over to reception, find Deborah and uh, she'll take you through some of the different frames that we have in store and uh, we have a special deal where it's buy two get one free so if you're interested feel free but uh, yeah thanks so much for coming on down it's been an absolute pleasure having you and uh, we'll see you soon hi there how's it going Thank you uh, so much for coming on down to uh, the barber shop. What can I, uh, what can I do for you today? Uh, good choice. The full package. Well, no worries here at JoJo's Barbers. We are all about giving our patrons a once in a lifetime experience. So I can ensure that by the time you walk out of our shop today, you will feel like a million dollars. I didn't already.
everybody say it. My name is Jojo, and I'll be, uh, I'll be your barber today. It's great to meet you. Well, please feel free to take a seat and get nice and comfortable. Um, here at our barbershop, we prioritize relaxation and making sure that our patrons feel at home. So, a lot of the time, one of our, uh, proudest achievements here at the barbershop is giving our patrons a very relaxing experience. Some even say that they're even able to fall asleep whilst we give them a haircut or a shave or pamper and whatnot. So, uh, feel more than welcome to, uh, close your eyes. Feel free to even, uh, go to sleep if, for all I care. Uh, you're, you're in great hands. I've been doing this for a long time, so, uh, yeah. Excellent. Well, feel free to get nice and relaxed, and, uh, we'll get started with the cut. Alright. Have you been here before? <laughs> okay. Well, I can ensure that, uh, like I said, you're gonna feel great. So... Is there anything, by the way, uh, before we begin? Can I get you something? A glass of water? Uh, do you want to use the bathroom that we have here? Okay, well, at any point in time, if you, uh, would like to take a little bit of a break, please don't hesitate to, uh, let me know, and I'd be more than happy to, uh, let you go and do whatever it is you need. Great stuff. Alright, well, let me just go ahead and get my tools here ready. Go ahead and make yourself at home, get seated, kick back, relax, take your shoes off for all I care. <laughs> Alrighty. So, the first thing we're going to be doing anything is just wetting up your hair. That way it will make the cut a little bit easier for me. <laughs> Alright, great. So sit back, relax, and uh, we'll get started. I have a uh, couple of solutions here that we're just going to be using to wetten up your hair. Thank you. 
guys there. Sometimes when you're doing a haircut, um, it's important to just get rid of all of the dead hair that we've cut off. It's looking a lot better already. Very nice. Next up, what we're going to be doing is a little bit, little bit of a shave. So let me set this up for you. Hang on tight. All right. Now for the fun part. So I just have some shaving cream here. I'm going to put it in my little barbershop bowl. And we'll uh, get right to work.
barbershop. I uh, really do appreciate it. I hope that you had a relaxing time here at our barbershop. And uh, I gotta say, you look fresh. So, enjoy the rest of your day. If you did enjoy, be sure to like. And, uh, yeah, leave a comment down below. With that said, I'll uh, see you next time. And, uh, enjoy your haircut. Thanks again for coming. Doodles. Ah, a he, a ho, a ha, and I thought my jokes were bad. How are you? Hmm? Well, happy Halloween, everybody. I'm so, so glad to be spending it with you this evening. You want to see a magic trick, hey? You want to see a magic trick? Well, I have a playing card here. Watch as the playing card changes. Just like that. Well, ladies and gentlemen and everyone else, tonight we're going to be spending a little bit of a Halloween special with me. Are you excited? I'm so giddy. <laughs> so we have a couple things, activities planned for our time tonight. And there'll be a, a meal call. Timestamps. Timestamps. In the little description box down below. So, How's your year been? Are you nervous? Is it the scars? You want to know how I got them? We'll, we'll get yours later. Okay, well, the first thing I want to be doing for your little Halloween activities is what if I take a look? Can you just go, ah, uh, yeah. Mm, very, very nice. It's a very nice tongue you have. <laughs> yeah, that'll definitely do. So, before we continue, I was thinking we could go ahead and get some of your own scars. What do you, what do you say? My, my father, he gave me mine, but anyway. You don't have any other plans for the rest of today, huh? Beautiful. That's exactly what I like to see. I just found these uh, in the janitor's closet in the high school across the road. I don't know if they're clean. They'll do the trick. Things are a little peculiar. Okay. So, I bought my little tiny kit. And we're going to be doing some of your scars right here. And right now. You excited, friend? I forgot to close it. So, these are some of my tools that I'll be, um, well, using on your face. And we're going to be giving you some of the best scars of all time. So which tools should we start with? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. How about this one? I like, I like plucking things, you know? Like plucking, just like things out, maybe pluck a couple eyebrows out. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just joking. That's a joke. That's a joke. Anyway, so before we start, I'm just gonna do some plucking, plucking around, around. And the goal 
is to just see what I'm working with here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. How about there? Yeah, that looks good. That looks very good. You hungry? Me neither. I hate the war. So. No mind. It's just a little solution. I might need to pluck some teeth. Okay, just stay still. Maybe one of these really nice molars you got there. Just stay still. Just stay really still. There you go. Not too bad. Hmm. Fantastic. I think next we should use one of these pokey ones that have a little bit of a sharpness to it. What do you say? About this one. We try it over here. This will really help get the scars and just relax. There you go. Soon you'll have scars. Yeah, as good as mine. Still try, hey, try not to move. We don't want this getting placed anywhere else. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Good. How about right over there? Okay. Let me take 
a little bit of a look inside. Let's see what we can spot here. Hmm. Hmm. Very good. Your scars will for sure. Next, I brought with me my little itty bitty iPad. Have you, do you have one? You have one of these iPads. And they are spectacular. I may be able to look up anything I really want. So, tonight I will be reading some of my most iconic lines from the dark night. And I hope you'll enjoy them. Uh-huh, he, uh -huh, uh -huh. and I thought my jokes were bad. I'm on a magic trick. I'm gonna make this pencil disappear and ta-da well well it's gone a suit it wasn't cheap you wanna know you bought it let's wind the clocks back a year none of these cops and lawyers would dare cross any of you I mean, I mean, what happened, hmm? Your balls drop off. You see, a guy like me, a guy like this. I know why you choose to have your little group therapy sessions out in broad daylight. I know why you're scared to go out at night. The bad man. You see, Batman has shown Gotham your true colors. As for it, and he's just the beginning. And as for the so-called uh, little television's plan, Batman has no jurisdiction. He'll find him and make him squeal. And I know the squealers when I see them. Well, it's simple. We uh, kill the Batman. If you're good at something, never do it for free. Yeah. I'm not crazy. I am not. Listen, if we don't deal with this soon, little uh, Aunt Gamble over here won't be able to get a nickel to save his grandma. Ah, da -da 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 -da. Let's not blow things out of proportion. Well, look. Here's my card. Why don't you call me when you want me to take things a little more seriously? And, and, scene. I'm such a great actor. What did you say? You want to see my new vest? It's very quite nice, actually. I think it looks very good on me. Wouldn't you agree? You look a little nervous. Here, let me, let me help you with that. There you go. There you go. Very good. Why don't we do one more scene, huh? Never start with the head. The victim gets all fuzzy. You can't feel the next. See? to see what you do. And you didn't disappoint. 
he let five people die. And then you let Dent take your place. I mean, even for a guy like me, that's cold. Those marbles want you gone so they could go back to the way things were. But I know the truth. There's no going back. You've changed things. Forever. I don't want to kill you. What would I do without you? Go back to ripping off mob deals? No. No, no, no. See, you complete me. Don't talk like one of them you're not. Even if you like to be. See, to them, you're just a freak. Like me, they need you right now. But when they don't, they'll cast you out. Like a leper. See, there are morals there. Code. It's a bad joke. Drop. The first sign of trouble. They're only as good as the world allows them to be. I'll show you. When well, the chips are down, these uh, these uh, civilized people, they'll eat each other. See, I'm not a monster. I'm just out of the curve. Well, I think next on the agenda would be to give you a little bit of a face paint. So, I'm going to grab my little face painting kit. I'm going to give you a little bit of a clown. left so that your makeup can look like mine so i'm going to go ahead and cover your face in white that's good just stay still i like to use acetone in my paint as a base I think it provides it with a little more punch, you know. Okay. Just stay still. You might feel a little burn. But don't worry. You'll look good. Very good. Exceptionally good, some would say. So, what's your favorite holiday of the year? Hmm? That's interesting. Very interesting. You know what mine is? I don't actually really care about holidays. I just like to be present. Very good. You look spectacular.
time to do a little bit of blending hmm? around. Good. We just need a bit of black. Great. So, for the rest of our little time together, I was wondering if you are interested at all in working with me to accomplish a certain plan I have. Well, you see, Batman has been running Gotham to the ground. And I think it's our responsibility to take care of him. He's too much fun, you know what I mean? So, I'd say we jump him. Maybe in one of those parking lots. Get some of those pooches on him too. Huh. Yeah. That money of mine, I could bring chaos to the rest of the world. And I think I would do great if I had a little assistant such as yourself. Hmm. I can even meet a Harley at the back. Great. Well, if you are interested, all I need you to do is to sign right here. Oh, I don't have a pen. Blood will do. You can uh, just prick yourself with... Hmm. Prick yourself with this. All I need is a drop of your blood. You can prick yourself right just draw on your neatest handwriting on the waiver right here. Hmm? There you go. Great. And just fantastic. Really good. Very good. Well, we are now blood brothers. Let's go ahead and try this thing I've seen all the kids on the internet doing nowadays. It's called BDSM. Hmm? No. Oh, it's ASMR. You ever heard of it before? You know what it stands for? A super magnificent railroad track. That's not what it stands for. Hmm. Well, I digress. I thought we could try a little bit of this heinous, heinous amount. I like to call it BDSM, whatever. And we're gonna be having some fun with a couple, what do you call them? Triggers that I bought. Well, I didn't really buy them, did I? But, I digress. And hopefully they can give you this BDSM ASMR response. Yep. Yeah. These little nails. And I think they look really good. I remember one time my mother had fingers like this. I remember she like 
and claw my father. What do you think? Do you have a favorite ASMR trigger? Alright. Well, I didn't really ask, but... Hmm. Anyway. What other objects did I bring with me? this this sounds pretty good Well, that was fun. I hope you've enjoyed your stay with me tonight. Any other plans you have? No. Yeah. Can I come? That's fine. I really want to anyway. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. You take care now, okay? Hi there, welcome to the Optometrist Clinic. My name is Dr. Jojo, and today I'll be conducting a quick little eye exam. I understand that you have an appointment to get to really quickly after this, so I'll try to keep things going at a real fast pace, okay? Fantastic. Can you tell me which of my hands is wiggling its finger? Great, how about now? Good stuff, how about now? Good, and how about now? Awesome. For this next test, could you just go ahead and follow the light as best as you can? Just follow the light, follow the light. Good, 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 good. Just follow the light, follow the light. Just follow the light. Great, good stuff, good stuff. All right, for this next test, could you please cover your left eye with your hand and tell me at what point you can no longer see this finger leave your vision? Great, how about now? Good, and one more time. Fantastic, could you just swap hands? Cover the other eye. Good. Good. Great, well, your vision seems to be 20-20, so there's nothing wrong there. Thanks for visiting, and I'll see you next time. Hi there, and welcome aboard to your flight. My name is Jojo, and I will be your personal flight attendant for today's trip from Sydney, Australia to Zimbabwe. Before we continue, can I interest you by any chance in one of our personalized steamed hot towels? You are more than welcome to use this to get rid of any gunk, excess skin, oil, grease, dirt, whatever you've been accumulating throughout the day to enjoy your experience here with us today. You'll also find on the side of your chair a remote control. You can use this to look at the different sorts of TV channels, exclusive media, Media, different sorts of movies, music, and you will also be able to see the trajectory of today's trip across the flight. While we are at it, can I offer you any sort of beverages, condiments, alcohol, wine, snacks, or different sort of meals? If you have any sort of dietary requirements, you are more than welcome to push that little red button on the side of your chair, and I'll come right over to make any adjustments that you so require. You will also find to the side on your left part of the compartment a set of noise-canceling earbuds. These also come with Bluetooth functions, so you're more than welcome to use these during the flight if you're getting a little bit annoyed with the white sound. But with that said, is there anything else that I can do to help you before we go to takeoff? Great. Well, prepare for takeoff, and I'll see you in a second. Hello there, it's really nice to meet you. My name is Sir Antonio III, and I'm a professional sketcher and artist. Today I'm going to be taking your portrait. So if you can just go ahead and pose for me, just get in a position that's very comfortable for you, and all I'm going to start doing is sketching you. Sketching that beautiful cranium of yours. 
do have a very big nose, and I'm really going to make sure to just draw that huge nose. It's enormous. I mean, rivals that have been a yo. Okay, so I'm just going to draw that nose. Fantastic. Now, I can't admit you do have rather large ears, so we're going to draw those ears. We're going to draw those ears. We're going to draw those ears. Yep. Fantastic. No, they look great. They look great. I'm just an artist. I'm just... Oh, okay. Just... All right, didn't have time to draw your eyes, which are rather interesting, to say the least. I mean, that's a good thing. Don't worry. All right, so let's draw those eyeballs. Fantastic. And your mouth. Oh, yes, that beautiful mouth. Okay. And we're going to draw some freckles, 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 freckles. All right, now your hair. I'm just going to scribble in. Just sketch out some hair. Okay. Fantastic stuff. Okay, now we're going to draw your neck and the butt here. Okay, so sketching it out, sketching it out. You're going to really love this portrait. You're going to absolutely love it. Okay. Right, 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 You look fantastic, really. Okay, and there it is. You want to see it? Nah. See you later. Oh, yeah, welcome to the game store. It's really nice to see you. What were you looking for today? Okay, you were looking for some Joy-Cons. Let me just check in the system if we have any of those in stock. Yep, great. Was there anything else that you were looking for whilst I go check storage? A Nintendo DS. Okay, let me see if we still have those. Those might be out of stock. And anything else I can get you? A Pro Controller for the Nintendo Switch. All right, great, great, great. Yes, we have a second-hand one available that I can do for you at half price if that works for you. Great, okay, give me a sec. Let me just check the store. Great, okay, so I have the second-hand Pro Controller. Great, yeah, we can do that for like 20 bucks. Too easy. Uh, you said you wanted a Joy-Con. We do have one of these Joy-Cons. It's still sealed in the plastic. So that should be good, right? All right, great. And you were looking for a Nintendo DS. Now, the only thing that we have in stock at the moment is one of these Nintendo DSi's. They're kind of old, but like, I can do this for like five, ten bucks for you. They're on sale. Great stuff. Great stuff. Well, thanks for coming on by to GameStop and uh, get gaming, gamer. <laughs> hey, what's up? My name's Steven. Uh, welcome to Clean Keys. We're here. We're all about cleaning keyboards. I heard you had a couple keyboards that needed some uh, some work done on them. Okay, great. Yeah, let's get started. So this first one we have here is a uh, mini so keyboard. I'm just going to go ahead and get in between those keys. Just get rid of any of that gunk, any of that dirt, any of that schmutz that we don't want on a keyboard. Yep, I think this needs a little bit of solution. So I'm going to go ahead and just spray some solution in there. Great stuff. Give this a few more wipe downs here. All right, that one's done. You can take that back. Uh, this next one we have here. Oh, this is a nice one. I like this one a lot. Bamboo keyboard. Let's go ahead and give that a clean up. Yeah, you really do need to get these cleaned out once in a while. All right, not much work needed to be done there. That's pretty much done. The last keyboard that we have here is one of these pink ones. Interesting. I'll just really get in between the keys. Make sure it's all clean. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. You really do have a range of keyboards, I have to say. Well, anyway, that seems almost just about done. Great. Well, thanks for watching. There were you, the people that ordered the magician for the birthday party. Fantastic. Well, my name is Jojo, and I'm the fastest magician in the world. I know, right? Sorry, it's getting a little hot in here. Oh, wait, it's just me. Let's go ahead and get into a card trick. All right, so say stop whenever you want. Just say stop right there. All right, let's take ran one random card. Let's say this one right here. The seven of spades. I'm going to take the seven and place it on top of the deck. I'm going to take it and place it anywhere in the middle of the back. Watch, it slowly goes in. And check this out when I snap. Ready? It jumps up to the top. Bada bing, bada boom. The seven of spades. King of Hearts, right? That was your card, right? Oh, it was the Seven of Spades. No problem. Thanks for watching. Hey, sorry for being late to the interview. I understand that you've been waiting for a bit, but uh, our firm here is extremely busy at this time of the year, so we're just gonna blitz through this job interview if that's okay with you. Fantastic. Uh, did you by any chance get some of those references in? Great. Uh, let me just take a look. 
you email those? Yeah, okay, 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 good, 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 good. Okay, yes, I have your job qualifications here. It says you worked at a Wendy's for about two weeks. How was that? Okay, great. That could be uh, useful here at the law firm. Okay, uh, it says here you have experience being a plumber for 10 minutes. Yeah, that could be um, pretty good. We Barry does clog up uh, the toilets down there in HR, so um, that could come in handy, I guess. Um, any other sorts of qualifications you have in practicing law? Okay, yep. Yeah. Yep, making toast. Yep, that's that's also good. Pastry chefs. I mean, that that's great. Uh, well, look, I think uh, you have a pretty solid job shot. If I want to be honest, of getting the job. So, uh, look, how about I? I'll get my um, my assistant Deborah to send you out an email whether or not you got the job in a few days, and uh, we'll, we'll look forward to hoping to continue the conversation with you. But um, thanks for coming into the job interview, and uh, fingers crossed uh, you get it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hi there, good evening, and welcome to the spa. It's really nice to see you. My name is Jojo, and I'll be going ahead and giving you the best once-in-a-lifetime spa experience. So feel free to sit back, relax, as we go ahead and exfoliate the skin, relax your muscles, and give you a great, great time. The first thing we're going to be doing is just using some face rollers. So I'm just going to apply these face rollers, and just go ahead and get rid of any of that tension, any of that sort of stress that's been building up. Good stuff. Now we're going to go ahead and apply some solution. And this solution is filled with a bunch of great minerals and nutrients that's really good for the skin, great for skin repairing, and great for just anything that you have going on there. Fantastic. Next, I'm going to set some of these different stopwatches here just to go ahead and set the mood of relaxation. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the spa experience. Great stuff, great stuff. You're doing so well. Next up, I'm going to just also apply this little face roller here. I'm going to just roll that along the arm muscles. Just really relax that. And you're doing absolutely fantastic. Well, thanks so much for coming to the spa. I hope we enjoyed your experience as much as you did. And we'll see you later. Yo, what's up? Welcome to my tattoo shop. Uh, were you here for a uh, tattoo consultation? Cool. What were you looking for? Okay, yeah, nice. A big dragon on the back, right? Yeah. Did you want, like, blue flames or, or red flames or, like, pink flames coming out of it? Nice, yeah. That one's actually pretty good. I got, like, this massive, like, tiger on the back of mine that one's pretty cool all right and uh are you okay with this job taking like six hours because it's gonna stuff like this take some time okay great 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 and were there any other tattoos you were interested in you wanted to get you wanted to get a tattoo of kid named finger on your thigh that's based here yeah that's that's a really good one any other tattoos you want to get you want to get a photo of Markiplier's face on your big toe, the right or the left? The left. Good choice. Good choice. All right. Great. Now let's uh, book you in for this time next week, and uh, should be a should be a good session. Thanks for coming. Hey there, welcome to the barber shop. My name is Jojo, and today I'm going to be your personal barber for this evening. So, what sort of trim were you looking for? Were you looking for a full on haircut, a little bit of a trim? What was it we could do for you today? Just a little bit of a trim, no problem. So, let me go ahead and start cutting away at all that hair of yours. Snip, 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 snip. Great stuff. I'm going to apply some solution here.
side now. Next I'm going to go ahead and grab a different item. So I want to place these behind me so I can get to it. This is a purple pillar, purple pillar, purple, purple, purple pillar. And I'm going to make this squishy sound. Squish, 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 squish. Okay, so now we're going to squish this around. Squish this around the mic. so so incredibly well next thing we're going to do is grab this little alien it was in a ufo as you can see and we're going to take him on a little bit of a journey through space system and 
just like that. Now I'm going to get your negative emotions that have been stretched out into this long thing, and we're just going to roll that up into a fine ball. All those negative emotions are going to go ahead and compress it down into a fine little paste. the llamas and these llamas well what they basically do is eat up any of your bad thoughts they're gonna eat up they're gonna eat them up 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 so go ahead and just relax and the llamas are just going to eat up those negative thoughts they're gonna go ahead and eat up those negative
as I whisper ear to ear. So enjoy this next scene. This will be a segment from the uh, interrogation scene. Okay. All right.
straight into this boat and sail along with the main ropes. Got some kelp, got some kelp, got some kelp. Looks like we gotta get up here. Okay. Gotta break some wood, break some wood. Just gotta iron axe, gotta break the wood. So basically, if you are unfamiliar with these Minecraft worlds, we make stations and all of them have different tasks for us to do. So we got to start off by jumping the wood, 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 jum
six crafting tables, you know. So let's move on to the next station. All right, next we're going to go first. We're going to go first. We're going to go first. Let's try to fix it. Shoot your shot. Shoot my shot. Shoot my shot. Take some arrows. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can make this shot. Ready? Very good. All right, let's carry on. Carry on. Carry on. Carry on. Slime time. Slime time. Oh, 
yours thanks for playing made by jack y and jerky master double design are you ready to start 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, can you please just put the phone away? I swear to gosh, you are literally addicted to that thing. No, I am not. Yes, yes, you are addicted to your phone. Just put the phone away. We need to start the video. <sighs> Whatever, fine. Jeez. Okay, I'll start the intro and uh, I'll just cue you in, all right? Okay, sure, okay.
results. Gotta lose some of that, you know, baby fat. <laughs>
us do some mouth sounds to uh, end things off, shall we? Sure. Sure. Okay. This is uh, the only way. I think it's about time you and I go our own separate ways. You know, uh, I just feel like we have some creative differences. You know, it's nothing personal. However, due to recent events and after giving it a lot of consideration, I've decided it is the best idea for us to go our own separate ways. Okay. And uh, the reason for that as well, there was a couple things. Personally, you charge so much. I mean, how do you think I can afford it? I have to pay my Minecraft dog and cat, all right? And unfortunately, you just don't cut it into the budget. All right, so that's the first thing. You charge so much just for one little edit. You charge me like 50 bucks. I can't afford that bucks. all right? And secondly, I mean, what do you think? This is some sort of joke. I've seen what you do to me when you edit my videos. You intentionally, you know, you leave things in. Okay, that's good. You make me out to be some sort of fool, 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 fool in front of my audience. All right? You, you put these little filters on you. You teleport me to random, you know, to, to the ice ages. You, you put me in, into a fire. Do you think I don't see that? Needless to say, I don't appreciate how you present me in front of my audience sometimes. And I feel like sometimes you're taking the mick out of me. To tease, mock, or ridicule. To joke or kid around. So, unfortunately, I have to put my foot down and say goodbye to you. It was sort of nice, I guess, while it lasted, but I think it's about time that uh, you leave the you leave the place. The door is right there. So um, this is the last video that you will edit. Okay, and after that, you're fired. So with all that said, um, make sure you cut this part out before. The video starts because this is just between you and I. Anyway, um, just cut that all out and we'll start the video from now. All right, and go. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm so happy to see you here. How are you doing? Well, in tonight's video, we're actually doing a little bit of a celebration. This is the last video that my current editor will be doing. Um, He's, uh, he said he has to go. So, uh, this is the final video with him in it. Someone texted oh, text text me on my phone. And everyone else. I know it's not fun. Sometimes creative differences happen between people, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. That's all fine. You know, that's okay. I have a fun time here. Sorry, editor, can you cut out me? I just have to get closer to the microphone. Just cut that out. So yes, it's going to be a great sound assortment, and it's going to be so much.
with all that said, feel free to sit back, relax. This is going to be a totally ordinary. This was a massive undertaking, and I cannot thank my editors, Esther and Cody, enough. I'm just going to be making some sounds, okay? Okay. Let's start it with it. The first trigger that we have for you tonight. I just immediately picture myself in the ocean, sun, waves rolling by, or water somewhere. Love the sound.
bend over to grab the next trigger. Just cut this part out. Okay, thank you. And bring it back. Alright, so for the next trigger that we have, we have this, uh, it's like a foot massager on these sort of like wooden things. And uh, I sort of get the feeling when I make sounds of this that I'm nearby a fireplace. Sounds really nice. Sort of like I'm near a, a fire. I'm definitely, uh, you know, I'm standing next to it. I'm not in the fire. But, um, sounds really nice. Sort of like a fire crackling at the fireplace. Sounds really nice. basically it everybody that's gonna wrap up tonight's video i really hope you enjoyed it and yeah look i mean to my editor sorry but that's just sometimes how the cookie crumbles all right it is what it is sometimes we just gotta go our own separate ways but um say goodbye to him everyone it was sort of i guess nice knowing him but um yeah thank you all so very much for watching this video if you enjoyed it be sure to give the video a comment thanking my editor for his amazing work. Um, but with all of that said, I hope to see you back sooner rather than later, whenever or wherever you're watching this video from. And of course, until next time, everybody. Good night, guys.
now to the next keyboard. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I've actually uh, never used this keyboard before, so I'm gonna be significantly slower, so I apologize for that in advance, but let's go. Okay, it's actually quite a loud keyboard, so I'll adjust that.
actually more used to this. So let's see if we can get this a little faster.
light? Can you focus on this light? Can you, can you, can you focus on the light? Right here, right here. Good, 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 good. And right here. Okay, look at the shape. Shape, 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 shape. Good, 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 good.
structure to this sort of freestyling. Let's start off with um, the first mouth sound, I guess, which will be popping and bubbly sound.
sounds Thank you. 
stop. We have some bubble wrap. Do you know how fast those guys breed? Oh, oh, hi, sorry. No, please. Come on in, come on in. It is so great to see you. My name, of course, is Diddly Lang Lang Cheng Chi Ming Dennis Sun Choi Bao. But you can just call me Jojo and welcome to Hotel Travago. It is so great to see you here and we, the staff of Hotel Travago, extend our warmest welcome to our luxury state-of-the-art high esteemed hotel resort. Here at Hotel Travago we are all about giving our patrons an incredible once in a lifetime experience. I can assure you that by the time you walk out outdoors, you will be a changed person and your whole life will be different. So anyway, have you made a booking with us, I assume? Yep, okay, could I just grab the name that the booking was under? Okay, thanks. Um, how do you spell that? Okay, thanks. So, if you're wanting to use 
there's our public uh, gym, our public swimming pool, our jacuzzi, or our public arcade. You just need to come to front desk here at reception and you can pick a uh, specified time to book your session. This is to ensure that we maintain social distancing and not have each of our public forums overcrowded with people as we're trying to ensure that um, there aren't as many people, basically. So with that said, were you interested at all with using our swimming pool or our gym or our jacuzzi? It's fantastic. Really high quality. Um, were you maybe interested in any, in any, you know, having a session with any of those? Yeah, okay, sure, the swimming pool. No worries, okay, so um, let me go ahead and just look up what times are available uh, for today. So we have a session available for the swimming pool. Unfortunately, they're all booked out, but I can slip you in and squeeze you in at 2.30 a.m. in the morning. Would you be interested swimming at 2.30 a.m. in the morning? Just gonna let you know, all the lights are off and there is no uh, heater, so it's pretty darn cold. Would you be interested? Yeah, you'd be interested, okay. And uh, would you be interested in using our gym facilities? Okay, cool. session for the gym available at 12.30 a.m. Would you still be interested in that? Yeah, I'm sure you would. I'll just book you in there. Forgot to mention that um, once you get that time, you have to use that time for the rest of your stay, so I hope you don't mind. Well, you can gym and then at 2.30 a.m. have a little dunk in the swimming pool. There you go. Also, because you have used our deluxe special package deal, you are offered free breakfast every single morning here at Hotel Trivago. Now again, with having to book things like the gym and the swimming pool, you also have to book a time for breakfast. Again, this is just so we don't overpopulate, um, you know, the kitchen and stuff like that. This is to ensure that our patrons can eat safely whilst maintaining social distance policies. So, um, I'll just go ahead and check what times are available on my smart screen. Okay, so we have an available session for breakfast at 9.30 p.m. Would you be interested in that? Yeah, it's, it's whatever. Make your dinner, your breakfast, and your breakfast, your dinner time. All right, I'll schedule in there. That's cool. Now, as for what's on the breakfast menu, let me just go ahead and grab the menu. I'll let you know in a second. Okay, so just looking at the menu. Um, so your breakfast menu includes two items. Uh, you can get gluten-free cardboard bread uh, with expired peanut butter. I wrote that's actually pretty good. The expired peanut butter sort of adds a flavor. It's really interesting. Uh, alternatively, uh, you can just get bacon and eggs on toast, which is uh, pretty cool. It also comes with a side of really nice potatoes. I should just let you know that we at Hotel Trivago prepare our bacon and eggs in a very special way that you'll never see anywhere else around the world. So what we do right now, I'll explain the recipe. We get our eggs. We like overcook the eggs on the bottom so that they're really brown and burned. And then like the top of the eggs are still raw and then the middle of the eggs are just cold so we slap that on and then what we do is like we get the bread and it's that like pre-cut white bread that no one should eat within 10 meters from it so we take that bread we put it in the toaster and we overcook that and we plop that bread out and then it's like really burnt right so then we take a knife and we like scrape off the burnt peat parts of the bread and the crumbs go everywhere to make sure it's not that burnt we plop that on and um, for the bacon, we make sure to use low quality bacon. We think it out like offers a very interesting, unique flavor that no other bacon really does. And it tastes like band-aids, which is also really good. Uh, we ensure that parts of the bacon are really burned, but other parts of the bacon are really soft. Also our margarine, first of all, not butter, but our margarine that we spread on the bread is uh, really cold. And so what you do is like, you get this really cold bread and cold margarine and you like sort of try to spread it. But when you try doing that, it creates like holes in the bread. So then you can just put like lumps of margarine in the bread. And so like most of the bread 
of the toast is really dry, except for the like the places it's really greasy. Um, so that's good. And then for the side of potatoes, what we do is we take like the old leftover potatoes, put those in the side, and then we take the new leftover potatoes and put them on the old leftover potatoes, and just like keep doing that to the point where I like some of the old leftover potatoes. Let's be honest, don't even really look like potatoes and look like they've returned to Mother Nature. So um. We sort of stir that bad boy up and plop that on. And then, um, yeah, the, the gravy that we use is, uh, is really, really bad. And then we serve you a glass of orange juice, which the only thing that makes it orange is the color. Um, and we also serve you coffee that is coffee that's like really burnt and was made many hours ago. But then we take that coffee and we let it get really cold and then we reheat it a couple of times. And then we serve that coffee with not not milk, but with, like, nail polish. Anyway, so yeah, I'd really recommend the bacon and egg. Alright, well, with all of that locked in, why don't I go ahead and take you to your room? Why don't you just come along with me? Alright, well, here it is, your King Deluxe specialized room. You got everything here. This is one of our best rooms here at the hotel. Uh, so I'll give you a little bit of a rundown, a little bit of a tour here. On your left, you will find the mini bar. So the mini bar has some great, delicious, scrumptious snacks and beverages. You have little packets of chips, as you can see. Peanuts, some soft drinks. Um, what were the price for these? Okay, so the peanuts are going to run you about 79 bucks a pop. And uh, the 200 milliliter Coca-Cola bottles are about $813. Yeah, we've had some setbacks here. Really good. You can enjoy that. The mini fridge just below there. Um, I'm not sure if that's working. I had Deborah call and I kind of fix it. But uh, we had some weird mold growing out of there the other day. So uh, just ignore that. And over here on your right, you'll find your beautiful widescreen TV. We managed to pick this up at a junkyard the other day. It was a great pickup. Uh, but this TV comes with a total of two channels. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to get great satellite connection in this room. Uh, but I did hear that one of the channels being run out of the two channels is uh, JoJo's ASMR in there. That's a, that's a great channel. Would definitely give that a watch. Uh, the other channel has Shrek 3 on an endless loop. Yeah, we haven't really been able to figure out why that's the case, but um, I mean, Shrek's pretty, pretty good, I guess. Now, if you go behind me back there, you'll find your bathroom. Um, just a word of advice. Probably wouldn't, yeah, probably wouldn't use that bathroom. Are you allowed to drink the hotel water? Of course, we make sure to have our water at great pH levels. Uh, there is just one thing, um, there's a small chance, maybe like 10% chance, you might get tuberculosis, chronic diarrhea, HPV, and, um, and, uh, scurvy. So, uh, if you don't mind that, playing with those odds can get something cool out of that, but yeah, maybe you wouldn't recommend the water, but go for it. I, I've, I've been drinking it for 15 years, and I turned out just fine. Of course, behind you, you will find your beautiful king-size bed. Um, let me know if you find anything, though, under the covers. We did have our neighborhood hobo, uh, Jackson, crash over. We just let him come over whenever. Uh, I think he was in this room about two days ago. So if you find anything, just call up reception. I'll have Deborah come over and uh, fix that up for you. But yeah, that's your room. You have a great view behind you. It looks really good. Uh, you can turn around and take a look at your view. It's absolutely gorgeous stuff. So yeah, that's your room. Fantastic stuff. If you get nice and cozy, uh, Deborah should be up with your bags very shortly. But um, yeah, I really hope you enjoy your stay here at Hotel Trivago. We really hope that you have a great time and we can ensure that you will have an experience here like nowhere else. But uh, yeah, I'll head back to front office. If you ever need anything, go ahead. Give us a ring. But uh, yeah, alright. I'll see you in a sec. I brought Deborah. Have you finished ransacking their bags? Selected uh, the pen that I will be using to write your.
your answers for the video here. It's just a uh, blue pen. And uh, yeah, so great. Put that there. And uh, like I said, like I said, these are questions. There are very calculated. They took thousands of hours to compose. And um, I have to do quite a lot of research about you. that you're a human. own a 
place of residence that you have a computer there. So yeah, that um, just to clarify, that can include a laptop. Um, yeah, whatever it may be. Um, the next thing I guess that I'll guess about you is that. So I guess say that you have, I think, some food in your fridge, just uh, some food. sort of cupboard where you live. Yeah, there's some cupboards maybe. Yeah. Okay. some other things that you may possess, including um, a bathroom, uh, specifically you might own a toilet, um, and a shower, I'm going to guess that you own those things. milk, macadamia milk, and the 
else goes on some sort of milk in your possession and I'll also guess that you have some sort of animal product in your fridge chicken, lamb, beef, fish, pork okay that can also include eggs, butter, dairy, any sort of animal product of guessing about stuff in your fridge, maybe some fruit or vegetables. So, that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to also guess that your fridge has a freezer. So a freezer where um, you store frozen stuff in a different compartment. Um, and maybe you have some ice cubes, I'm gonna guess, as well. Yeah, okay. that uh, you have had a haircut before. Yeah, okay. Next, I'm going to guess that you own some pencils or pens. Something to write with. session.
that's maybe a bit of a shot in the dark there, but I reckon you might watch YouTube. Just a hunch. that you have watched videos before about the topic ASMR. Okay, right. So, next. Well, what else will I guess about that? Um, you've seen of animals. that you also have an email yeah an email maybe you have one of those Xbox, a PS4. 
NES, PlayStation of some sort, um, a Nintendo console. Okay. So next, I will guess that. that you are born by two people. So you have a biological father and a biological mother, I'm gonna guess. that you have had pets before, so a dog, a cat, a bird, some, you might have fish, um, I don't know, people that have had turtles, <laughs> some sort of pet before in your life. some TV shows. Okay. So we're finally coming to the last question. I'm gonna guess that you are not even watching this part of the video right now. These are actually yo-yos, believe it or not. Um, there's a string. There is a there is a string right here, and you can actually put it on your finger and kind of yo-yo it, but we're, we're not going to 
views that the llama is like that tonight. We're gonna make some good sounds. Here we go.
Next up, continuing with the theme of Halloween triggers, we have these tiny little um, jack-o'-lantern heads. So. Just, just do the very light tapping.
So the next thing we're gonna do is hydrate your hair a little more with our very unique solution that we make it here ourselves. So all we're doing is just getting things nice and prepared. special solution made of sodium chloride dihydrate. Essentially what it does is it's a salt-based solution with an iodine-like base. That's how it gets its blue color and it's full of nutritious chemicals, which are very, very beneficial.
these smaller ones. These are for some of the more refined, more difficult cuts. And then of course we have, I think we have to first just get rid of some of that bulk before we do any of the finer cuts. It's your average size.
say that your political beliefs are left-leaning or right-leaning. If you had to choose one person in your life, who would you say? despise or hate the most. say is your biggest and most fatal flaw about your personality. your biggest regret. safe do you feel at this moment in time? Do you believe that I am going to enact any sort of physical
you have been. It will make my job a lot easier, and it will make your job a lot easier. solution and I need you to drink this solution I cannot tell you what is in this solution however I currently now need you to consume all of the contents in this solution negotiating is not
this next part, I'm going to examine your ears. just remain. suspected that you had this bacteria, if you will. So, the secret 
Secret Services contacted me and my staff to conduct an abduction because it was suspected that you had this bacteria. However, as investigations continued whilst you were sedated and unconscious, we discovered that you have a particular enzyme which seems as if it's able to metabolize the bacteria so effectively to the point where it seems as though that it is possible sort of genetic illness associated by this bacteria. Why did I ask you those questions? <laughs> well, I had to ask you those questions because we needed to make sure that you were in an appropriate physical state. We needed to ensure that you weren't under the influence of any sort of substance. By interrogating you and asking you questions, were we able to conduct the result that you were adequate to have this investigation proceeded by? Okay. We are now ready to conduct the extraction. Please remain still. a sound as I do this. It should be painless. Now as I do this, while I'm extracting are the sound particles which are capable I was just wondering if uh, we had any more of those charcoal face masks left in stock. We don't. Okay, do we have the backup face mask? Excellent. Yeah, no worries. I have the Vegemite right here. I think we can just use the Vegemite instead. Yep. Okay. Yeah, well, it has a lot of B vitamins and a lot of sodium chloride, so I think I'll pretty much do the same job. What do you reckon? Yeah, all right, Vegemite it is. Sorry about that. Really nice to meet you. Come on in, come on in. Uh, it's it's uh, great to have you here. Welcome to a relaxing facial spa. Uh, my name is Jojo. I'm a professional, um, you know, masseuse. And, uh, you know, I've been doing this for quite a while. You're in good hands here at our massage parlor.
color. Here we pride ourselves in making sure we take the best care of our clients. And um, we have some of the best products, state-of-the-art products for your face, for any cosmetic things to optimize your relaxation. So uh, if you're looking to wind down and uh, try some of our interesting and unique products for a facial, any sort of spa relaxation, you've come to the right place. Anyway, so uh, what can I do for you today? What brings you in? Okay, you were just wanting the standard package. Yeah. Well, that just involves just a light little facial. We're just going to put some face masks on you. Uh, we're also going to be cleaning out your ears and... Um, yeah, just optimizing your relaxation, give you a relaxing face massage, maybe. Yeah, so it's just the basic package. How much will that cost? Well, it will be $590. Why is it so expensive? Well, see, uh, the actual face massage and the facial costs about 40 bucks. The other $550 goes towards helping me build my Minecraft house with my dog and cat. Yeah, you can understand the costs. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that in the system, thanks. Oh, okay, yeah, I think I've got you in the system, that should just about do it. Anyway, so the basic package, no problem, oh, I got you covered. We have some great, unique, extremely unique products that you probably have never seen before. Here at our clinic, we try and experiment with all different kinds of products to try and get an advantage over our competitors. So you're in for a ride. So before we, so before we do any sort of, you know, facial massage or anything of that kind of matter, I just need to go ahead and go through the standard protocol, occupational health and safety procedure. Just ask you some questions. Here we really make sure to follow by the guidelines that the board sets. So I just need to ask you some questions that shouldn't take too long. So do you have any allergies? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that one sucks. My grandpa has it too. I hate how it makes your armpit hair turn into different kinds of horse trail. Are you currently taking any kind of antibiotics or medication? Don't lie to me, I can already tell. Okay. Is it a problem if my pet turtle can outrun me in a race? Oh, okay. I, I thought so. He's really fast, to be fair. Batman's parents were killed. How was Batman born? Okay. Yeah, that's a question I have to ask everyone. It's standard procedure. Can I ask you a question? No, that, yeah, that, that was the question. It's a yes or no answer. Can I ask you a question? Look, I don't need you to start getting smart with me, okay? So uh, what are you doing after this? Can I come? You're too nice. your phone number, your credit card details, um, you know, anything, just all information about you, especially your credit card details. No, I just don't. I need to get these details here yeah, under zero. Six. Yep. Why do I need your credit card details personally? Oh, no reason. Just, we just need to put the system, you know, so we can help you payment. Wait, what was that number again? Boy, I'm going to get myself a Ferrari. Okay, so that should pretty much be all the questions over and done with. I want to thank you so much for being so easy to work with. I know it can be a bit tedious. Okay, but let's begin with um, the facial and our spa basic package. Um, so yeah, first thing we're going to do is get you nice and relaxed. Okay, and now to get you relaxed, we have a few different things. We're going to do some breathing. Uh, do some breathing. Breathe. I want you to breathe. I want to see it. Okay. Oh, very nice. Very good. Okay, now we have some relaxing dance moves. We've been looking at uh, the scientists and they say there are particular dance moves that facilitate a relaxing state of mind. So uh, how are you feeling with that? Scared and nervous? That's pretty fair. Okay, so we can now begin with the face mask. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna apply a face mask on you and just let that sit for about 10 minutes. Our face mask is fantastic. It has different kinds of salts that are really going to interact with the skin. Okay, so if you have any acne or any sort of um, blemishes, whiteheads, blackheads, cysts, whatever you 
it may be this should do a really good job at just neutralizing the acidity. We have all different kinds of salt here and now uh, in our face mask. It's a, well yeah, it's a Vegemite face mask, I hope you don't mind. Vegemite, not only does it taste delicious, but it's great for the skin. So what I'm going to do is just open this up. And I've been using Vegemite on my skin for years, and look how good my skin looks. What's that? How can a pizza face like mine own a spa and facial massage? Well, look, my skin is obviously glowing, and I can tell you that my practices have been formally regulated by the board. Have you ever tried Vegemite before? Have you ever tried Vegemite before? Yeah, fair enough. All right, so there you can see charcoal face mask. We're gonna get going. We ran out, and that's what we're gonna use Vegemite. Now, what I'm gonna do is get a cotton swab. Okay. And I'm just gonna dip that in. Okay. And all you have to do is just relax. I'm gonna apply the face mask to you. So we're gonna start off with your cheek right here. Okay, pulling that bitchy might. Sorry, I need to warm it up. Okay. So uh, we're just gonna get some moisture on that just to help the face mask really get into your skin. Yeah, it's looking looking very good okay so you should at this point start to feel a tingly burning sensation but no worries that's all part of it that means it's working yeah oh well this one has a lot of b vitamins and yeast extracts so the yeast is gonna bind to your skin and those salts are gonna go ahead and start breaking down any of the oils and any sort of particulates and dead skin cells you feel me Sorry, I shouldn't be eating uh, the base products. I want to give this another one of a swab. Oh, do you hear that? Oh, it sounds so moist. Okay, so I'm just going to keep applying the Vegemite face mask. So at this point, you should really be feeling that almost burning, tingling sensation. But don't worry, it's good for you. It's good for the cholesterol, good for your skin. You should be glowing in no time. So yeah, I put Vegemite on my toast, Vegemite on my prawns, Vegemite on everything. You know, I come from Australia, and Vegemite is pretty much a staple. You put it on everything. You put it on your oranges. You put it on your, your cat. You, you, it's, it's just great. Motor oil really help as an agent to uh, help grease up things. And in this case, we're using it for your skin. So it uh, should be good. Okay, so now that that face mask is on, I'm just going to go ahead and let that sit and just soak up in your skin for about 5 to 10 minutes and then we'll continue on with some of the other products. So the next thing we're going to do while we are waiting for our Vegemite face mask to really just get nice and soaked up in your skin is uh, I have an ear candle, okay? And uh, with this ear candle, it's just great. It's going to help flush out any of the uh, particulates, air wax, um, dust, you name it gunky things you don't want in your ears so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and I'll put this in your ear and it should be pretty good yeah uh, we can we can't actually afford um, actual lighters so I'm gonna go ahead and CGI this one in boys also forgot to mention let me give you your towel I um I've moisturized it up with my own sweat so uh, it should be extra, extra saucy and really good for your skin. So I'll give that to you right here. There you go. Okay, so how are you holding up over there? How's the face mask going? Terribly. Well, yeah, that's that's the expected response. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is take some more cotton swabs and clean out your ears a little more. Okay. So I understand that it's recommended you don't actually shove any objects in your ears, but, you know, YOLO, am I right? Okay. Yeah, your ears are really, really gross. Well, yeah, you can see that I got some nice, beautiful, cheesy, oozy substance. Okay, I'm um, just trying to see if I can find any earwax. I'm just doing a bit of digging, a bit of doing a bit of gold mining, looking for some gold. Oh, oh, oh that's a juicy one. That's a juicy. 
juicy one, boys. Let me pull that one out. Oh. Yeah, that's, um... That's really gross. I don't know how you're even able to hear with that much earwax in your ear. This stuff looks like... This stuff looks like just... Just... Just gross. Yeah, I, I definitely would go get that checked. I can refer you to someone. Yeah. His name is Dr. Jojo. He, he runs the other clinic across the road. Yeah, he does a lot of ear cleaning things. I'm sure he'll be able to help you out. He does this all the time. Yeah, that's that's unnatural. This is pretty pretty gross. Alright, let's just see if we can buy anything now in this ear. Okay, and oh, yep. This one's not as bad. It's not as soggy, which is a bit of a shame because I love the taste of soggy earwax. But this one. Yeah, it's a yikes from me. Okay, well, with all that done, we got the earwax out. How's the face mask going? Okay, that's good. The next thing we're gonna do is uh, apply a large octopus head massager. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. It feels like my brain is being sucked up by aliens. Oh, sorry. My, yeah, this might have some traces of lice in it. I hope you don't mind the lice. Really good for the skin. I'll give that to you. There you go. Don't worry. The lice is fine. Yeah, I, they're, they're really friendly. I get along with them really well. Yeah, we call each other every other day to see how each other is doing. Last I checked, the head lice, his name is Jeff. Yeah, he's running uh, the sector up on my forehead. Yeah, he gets along really well with me. It's an open relationship, yeah. Well, it's kind of one-sided, you know. Yeah, I feel like I put a lot in, but, you know, I just feel like he could reciprocate better. Wait, I better be quiet, he might hear me. Well, look, maybe it's good, because he's going to be able to meet you, right? So, this should just be a very simple process. Yeah, don't worry, lies is, it's fine. All right, well, call me in a week, let me know if you have any uh, chronic lies. I mean, you should. Okay, so how are we holding up over there? How's that face mask going? Hopefully pretty well. Yeah. Your skin is turning into lava. That means it's working. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm just gonna start peeling the face mask off. You should feel that pretty much pulling up all your skin. Yeah. The Vegemite is probably start peeling that off. I just need a towel. Okay, so let me just wipe. Wipe that down. Yep, okay. Should be getting rid of that face mask. It should be okay. Yep, well it's looking real good. It's looking very good. Okay, how you doing? Shipping is really expensive these days.
guys had to add that as a cost. But um, yeah, look, thank you so much. It was great to meet you.
this card trick I'm about to do can fold. So your goal is to not be fooled. So at this point on, watch extremely carefully what I do. Sounds good. Okay. This isn't even really a card trick per se. It's an observation test and your goal is to pass the test and about 1% of the so let's hope you're in that 1%, shall we? First of all, we need a card selected, and any card will do. Let's say this one right here, the Five of Diamonds. Now it really can be any card, it does not matter, but we'll go with the Five. I'll take your Five and we'll lose it into the deck. Now at this point, this card. Red. Correct. Well done. And what color is this card? Right. Black. And what color is the back? Okay. Very good. So, let's think, let's think. Now, let's try that test once more. What color is this card? special. 
just get my phone and all I'm gonna do is take a picture of this image like so three times. 
first of all, we have my little bird's pillow. A little bird told me that you were having some trouble falling asleep. That little bird has a little pillow that he sleeps on. So we can all think the little bird who watches you fall asleep. established.
music. Hello. My aim is Dr. Dimitri. How can I help you this evening? Oh yes, you're at Dimitri's clinic. We have a wide range of medical practices that will ensure that you are fully recovered with any issues that you may have. So please, tell me what just might be the problem. Okay. You're feeling a bit of discomfort in your leg. Hmm. Could I just have a bit of a look at your leg. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I, Dr. Dimitri, believe that you might be suffering from some sort of cramp. These come in many forms, and it's important that you rest appropriately after strenuous physical activity. Please feel free to take some of the medication that I, Dr. Dimitri, am going to prescribe to you. Take two tablets a day of a summer This will help try to reduce some of the inflammation you might be feeling. That's all for today. Please let me know how you are doing. My name is Dr. Dimitri and I will see you next time. Welcome to another video. So today, we're going to be saying hello in ten different languages. Okay. Here we go. Bonjour.
thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Hello guys, it's Alois Mar here. And today we are going to be doing the fastest SMR ever.
Yes, hello droids. Welcome back to Tingle Bottom Industries. Yes, Tingle Bottom. Yes, highly technical, highly technical, highly technical. I am Professor. Something that which we have been working on here at Tingle Bottom Industries is highly technical. A highly technical device that satisfies one's boredom. I believe the layman would call this a fidget spinner. But here at Tingle Bottom Industries, yes, very technical, here at Tingle Bottom, we call this the spinner 4300 mark 4 highly technical yes highly technical and it works something like this yes it's highly technical highly technical indeed highly technical highly technical very technical One droid becomes quite bored, they can peak their boredom and stop it with this device. Highly technical, yes, very technical indeed. Next up, we have an art top of the range product Tingle. will be given a jar of tinkle bottom jelly beads to provide a aromatherapic effervescence should there be any presence of foul smells foul smells highly technical jelly beads are used to make the place smell, colloquially speaking, nice. Very technical indeed, very technical. And finally, our final product, which we have been working on tirelessly, is one of our most high tech Presenting the Nintendo DS Mark 75000. As you can see, has a very technical interior and it does the job highly well. So, all droids will be given a free. Nintendo DS Mark 70,000, which is highly technical indeed. So, droids, that will mark for this presentation.
most expensive shoes. Uh, it's very fashionable, and I definitely think that, uh, you know, I've been saving this shoe for this episode. So, um, this is what it looks like. Uh, you can see it's simply amazing. Uh, this is the polyhydrate, the pinnacle. You can see it has this really stylish Velcro. So you, what you can see is that this shoe has two Velcro straps. You have one down here where the toes go. And you have one up here where your foot just generally slides in. So, um, yeah, this is a pretty quality shoe. You have a complimentary uh, dog crap stain right here. So I would say this shoe would be about $8,000. Um, it's pretty. It's just really stood the test of time. Uh, so there are some really nice cards in this set. And if you're someone that either used to watch the anime or, you know, just likes looking at pretty pictures, this is definitely your kind of video. But, um, yeah, so there are a couple of cards we are really looking for here. Primarily, um, a few cards where we're looking Nightmare Goblin, which is an ultra rare. And um, just in general, we're looking for some of the Nightmare cards. Um, yeah, so let's get right into this. I hope you enjoy. So let's just start by taking off the wrapping. So just bear with me for a moment here as I take off this wrapping. Okay, so the wrapping is off. So we're just going to now take the box and open it up like so, just like this. And then we take the back and just put it into the box. And there you have it. Really pretty. Okay, so we have quite a few booster bags to go through. I believe each box comes with 24, if I'm correct. So, sorry about the camera shaking. So, 24 booster packs. Uh, we're just going to get right into it. So, let me know if you want more of these kinds of videos. So, I don't even know where to start. Uh, I usually never uh, unbox sets of cards. I usually always just buy the singles. I never actually buy booster boxes, but let's get right into it, you know, so I guess Okay, so you can see we have I believe that's Topologic Drispania, which is an extremely powerful monster. Uh, I believe it's a secret rare, so oops, so we'll start with that. So comes with two secret rares, uh, four ultra rares, and I think like seven super rares, something like that. So I don't sure how this works, but I think it's this card, which is the chase card. So we have Altergeist, uh, Emulated, Background Dragon, Defrag Dragon, Called by the Grave, which is a fantastic Construct, a link monster, which is why it has the arrows. Yep, for those of you that don't play Yu Gi Oh anymore, yep, you've missed out on a lot. <laughs> we have Crystal Keeper, World Legacy, World Lance, which is a monster in the World Legacy, or sorry, the uh, World Chalice archetype. And then last up, ah, uh, disappointing. <laughs> I'm joking, we have Wind Up, Zen Maintenance. Which actually is really pretty, and the card's pretty good for its archetype. And then we have Insector Pico Faelna. Another Link 2 monster. Oh, sorry for that, just waiting for that to focus. Yep. Okay, and that's our first pack. So what we'll do, we'll take our foils and our rares, and we'll set them to the side. I'll just set those up there. 
Monster. Ooh, Monster Reborn Reborn. A uh, really good spell card, which uh, is going to see some play, so that's pretty good. Red-haired Hostie. World Legacy Corruption. <sighs> FA Winners. This is a very interesting field or continuous spell card, which is uh, allows you to win the game. succession which is an ultra rare our first ultra rare mcknight avram read his description check this out <laughs> i don't know why they went ahead and did that watch cat ding dangle trinity crystal keeper and as our rare we have the sanctified dark lord so so far we haven't been seeing the cards we want but that's okay i'm also looking
second slide. Now this card's really good. Um, so I'll be definitely using that. And then we have another wind-up Zen Maintenance, unfortunately. Uh, two of them, really. <laughs> and then Vendor at Daybreak. So, not too spicy.
it's such a good card. So, oh my god. Sorry about that. Okay, so Nightmare Goblin has the effect to allow you to just summon another monster. Uh, another normal summon. So, I'll rate it out. If this card is Link Summon during your turn, you can discard one card. If this card was Go Linked when this effect was activated, you can draw one card. Also, during summon one monster from your hand to a zone this card points to in addition to your normal summon. You can apply this effect of Nightmare Goblin once per turn. Neither player can target card linked cards you control with card effects. So really good. Definitely a fantastic ultra rare. So seen this card. Interesting. So what I'm basically looking for at this point is another Waking the Dragon. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I'm wanting at this point. We've got everything we need, but we still have to yet get our second secret rare. Link Streamer, Vendred Daybreak, Guide and Kinder Spirit, F.A. Dead Heat, Restoration of the Monarchs, Sick Red Reboot and Waking the Dragon. Oh, happy days, happy days indeed. So Red Reboot is an extremely powerful trap card, which basically just negates any trap card. It's insane. So a very, very powerful card. And another Waking the Dragon. So we're happy. We got everything we need. Here at the Joe Bombers, we are highly professioned in haircutting and acquiring your gated needs. So whatever it is that you wish, whatever trim, if it's if it is a trim or a number three, if perhaps you're looking to dye your hair, whatever your needs are here at Joe's Buffers We Can support We use the 
highest quality materials and only the best industrially crafted equipment. These are my personal favorite trimmers and scissors to get the job done effectively and efficiently. and just enjoy some of the snap, snap, snipples. Snippers, snipples. The snipples, snipples of my work. And then we'll also use this carefully crafted, highly technical uh, tweezer just to get out those eyebrows that you may want a little bit of plucking with. Okay. So, if you could just get down and we shall begin the haircut. So, let me just get an idea of your hair. It is quite smooth, if I do say so myself. You do take quite good care of your hair, which is why lasted this long at such lengths. So before we start, I think let me just go ahead and write down that you're getting the trim and that will be only $25. Okay, let us begin. As always, just relax. So. Is everything? Are you working at all professionally? Oh, not nice. And what do you do? Uh, my nephew wanted to pursue that craft. Although it does take quite the clever mind to pursue that. Yes, he's just finishing up in high school. He wanted to do that. Snipple, snipple, snipple. Snipple, snipple, snipple. Snipple. And, um, do you have any other family that inspired you to pick up that craft? Or was that just your own? Intuition. Ah. Indeed, I can see that makes sense. You seem like that kind of person. <laughs> okay, so now that we've just trimmed off some of the uneven parts, I'm just going to cut off some of the little tiny minute parts. Quickly. We're just getting the bit of hair behind your ears right now. Yes, and just some of those little annoying neck hairs you can get. Which, let's be honest, not all of us want. Other than that, though, things are going relatively smooth. Okay. 
fantastic. Let me just grab this pair of scissors right here. Okay, got it. Okay, let me just get that. So these just get the job done a bit quicker, a bit more effective. They get those nice quick little slips. What else do you have planned for this evening? Sleeping. Mm. Well, that is important that you rest so that, that tomorrow you can go to work or catch up with friends and you can see this beautiful head cut. Okay, now let's get really into that. Okay, so we're getting some pretty adequate process and uh, progress for that matter done. So let me just pluck out some of those other neck hairs you have. If you could just. Now we shall get a bit of both going on.
so I'm just getting almost done with that. So let me just go ahead and now I'll just focus a bit more with these tiny scissors. Thank you for your consistent cooperation. Actually, my dominant. buy a motorcycle and he has no idea of the dangers hmm. motorcycles are just not worth it you know his parents and I for that matter if we see that motorbike we are smashing it more we have to go. I think we're getting pretty much there. Any last little touch-ups we have to do? Say your hair is looking much healthier and much finer than before. I must say, I think that you will like it a lot. So, let me just get rid of that excess and try it down. All right, thank you very much for that. Um, that will be $25 as I recorded right here. You can pay by card or cash at the front. Stacy, our receptionist. So thank you so much for coming down to Jojo's Pub. And I will see you very soon, hopefully. And yes, I'll make sure to tell my nephew not to get that motorcycle. Good luck with the work. Okay.